What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Already G, back with another build video, man. I'm out here grinding. I'm out here grinding. I'm going to try to post every build, every single build that you can possibly make on 2K. I'm going to try to post it. Of course, you can tweak it to your liking. Um, if you've been liking the build videos, like, comment, and subscribe. I know 2K is a pretty, uh, pretty interesting game to adapt to. Let me say it like that. But let's get into it. Power forward is what we with. We've been doing a lot of point guards. We're going to go with power forward. All right? So, like I said, this is like the key. This pie chart right here is the key to unlocking a whole lot of stuff, man. And I haven't tried the other pie charts to make this build the way that it's made. But I'm going to show you the perks to using this pie chart to make this particular build that we're going to talk about, okay? So, we're going to choose this pie chart. For the sake of this video, you can play with this. I feel like this is more balanced. Um, this one gives you more speed. The 75 gives you more speed. Um, but if those five ticks don't matter to you, then you could, not, you could not rock with that. You could go with this one. It gives you more strength. Me, I'm about that strength. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go with this pie chart because I want the strength for this particular build. All right? So, it's going to be weird what I'm going to do, but we're looking for, we're looking to be named something particular. Okay? And then, in your mind, you do also want to be able to score. Okay? All right. So, um, three-point shot is a 75 right now. Mid-range is also a 70. Eight, okay um i want to say we can do that let's go up on the post hook and up on the close shot which leaves us with 16 points that we can do something with um i didn't want my free throw shot to be complete trash on this build so i, I raised that up and i did want to be able to do contact dunks so i raised that up and I think standing layups for a big man, I mean, standing dunks for a big man is definitely, um, it's definitely a must, okay? So, we're going to at least get that up. Like I said, you could tweak this build the way you want to tweak it. Um, but let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We're going to go with this for right now. 16 is what I went with. Uh, 240, max wingspan. Uh, I'm going to pick rim protector. And let's see what it makes us. All right. Paint defender. Okay. If you want to go with the paint defender, this is what you can build for the paint defender. You're um, basically um, compared to Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan is a GOAT, won a lot of championships. But paint defender for this big man build is pretty dope so let's go to test build to see what badges you could potentially get or how you could potentially assign these badges uh, this is my opinion of course you can um, make these badges or put these badges in other places per your um, per your choosing okay um, we're gonna go with contact finisher okay we are a shooting paint defender we get a 70 mid-range, and we get a 70 uh, three-ball, all right? So, catch and shoot is a must, man. Catch and shoot is a must. I would uh, probably – I'll leave it at gold because um, there's not a lot of um, good reports about catch and shoot being a very good bass to have, okay? So, uh, I would go range extender. I would go quick draw silver at least. And then tireless shooter. Um, or, since you do have a fade, you could you could do this and go deep fades on that. Or, you can go Hall of Fame with that. Because you're technically not going to be... That's that's pretty dope to me right there. That's pretty dope. This helps you on the closeout. This gives you stamina. Uh, this this helps you with your stamina. Stamina is a big part when you're shooting. Like I said, catch and shoot is not really that much of a uh, factor, it seems like, on this game. So you don't necessarily have to worry about that. I would probably put corner specialist on um, 
that right there. That's a GG right there to me. That's good. So 14 shooting badges, that's what we're getting. Eight playmaking badges, you want unpluckable. You want quick first step. And I'm personally thinking postman technician because you're going to be in the paint trying to score at times. Um, or you can go downhill to make you faster in transition. Or you can go break starter. Okay? Mind you, you can tweak this build. I'm not saying that this is the end all say all. But this is the formula that I got for a paint defender. Um, let's go with the badges. You're a big man. You need rebound chaser. You need rim protector. You need intimidator. I would go post lockdown because the post lockdown people, they cheese, man. They real cheese. Um, and that's going to help you out. Um, you're not going to really be guarding on the perimeter against a def against a ball handler. Um, if the other team has a big man, um, you would need to be able to contest his shot, but you won't need to be able, you won't have to necessarily worry about him doing some dribble moves to get around you because he, his ball control is not necessarily up to par. Okay. So I would do maybe like a pig dodger, uh, or pick pocket interceptor, one of those badges for the last badge that you get. But I believe that box is a must to me. I believe that box is a must. Um, if you feel like you can guard post moves without this badge, I'm telling you, uh, uh, post scores are real cheesy people, man. Then you can change that. Or you can go with these two. I'll probably go with Rim Protector on Silver. That gives us another gold badge we can have. And you can do Brick Wall on Gold uh, if you want to. Or you can bring these two down to Silver and get one other Silver badge. Uh, which probably... Pick Dodger to dodge those picks. Uh, you can go pick Pocket or Interceptor. What from my experience with Interceptor, if you don't have it at all, then uh, it seems like you don't necessarily get the animation when it's time to in make an interception. You uh, basically swipe the ball, so you hit the ball, but it gives the opponent the chance to get the ball back without the Interceptor badge. Um, so... If you want it to be, you can do that. You can do that, man. So um, I think that that's a good setup, too, just so you can at least have the badges. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's what I would. Um, this is what I would probably go with uh, for me. Um because you want to make sure you're able to get rebounds and do everything. This is a pretty balanced selection. But, like I said, you choose it. This is your build. You can choose it. But this is the Paint Defender. Um, it's already G. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying these build videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.